Yo, what's up, everybody? We're back, and uh, yeah, not much to say, man. Shouts to Psy Games for this promotion right here, or I guess Juventus FC, man. This is pretty cool, though. I like it, you know. Get some free packs, some free packs, some free packs, some free sleeves and stuff. I gotta make sure I like actually get on every day now. I'm like sort of ooh, <clears throat> got gold money, you know. Showers totes gets it. So, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna take a look real quick, right? Oh, oh, I like free stuff. Animated gold, yeah. Put a conjure guard into your hand. Enhance six. Put two more into your hand. Okay, earth right. Subtract one from the cost of all conjure guardians in your hand. Sure, why not? Right? Seems good. Yeah. So, um, you know what? I've been meaning to sort of do this, so I, I've already disenchanted uh, a bunch of my junk, right? And I'm thinking, actually, you know what, let's, let's decide it this way. We'll do it based on missions, because I, I haven't been on, like, in a bit. So, win three matches is Force of Sword, sure. Win one match is Shadow. I don't really like doing one match stuff. Um, let's replace this. Win five matches, okay, win five. Win three, win one. Okay, so we can do five matches of uh, force or sword. Uh, let's just do sword real quick, right? Actually, no. No, 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 So, I believe I did make a deck. Let's go over it real quick and see if I need to uh, edit anything, really, yeah? Okay, 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 okay. I remember the deck now. So, the deck focuses primarily on not exactly actually really having neutrals it's mainly on into the looking glass right got to start my program there we go there we go okay there we go okay so it's based on into the looking glass and mainly elf twin assault i think that's the strongest card in uh Forest that came out of the expansion. You could argue there's other stuff like magical fairy lilac or whatever, right? But Elton's assault is really, really good, and um, we're just playing the typical, the typical stuff from back in the day, right? Like, just because we have this doesn't mean we can't run Sylvan, you know? And um, there's not really much else to say other than that. I think you never str struggle with card draw here, or uh, cards in hand, not necessarily card draw. It has kind of like roach synergy going on in there. It's not exactly like the bestest roaches in the world or anything like that, but you don't have that many evolves. So I'm like, you know, I'll put that in there. You might use evolves and fairy or something like that, but I'm a little unsure. Um, if I were to change something, increase ancient elf, increase magical fairy lilac, and probably actually down a bit of the higher end. But okay, let's take a look at it, right? I'm a little unsure how this this will go. We're just gonna play it unranked because it's like, you know, why not bother? So here's a quick preview if you guys need it, you know, take a screenshot, do whatever, boom. Scroll over here real quick, three, two, one. All right, pause there if you need to. If not, we're ready to go, you know. Oh, by the way, shout out to Axel493, man. With all these mods and all that, right? You guys may have noticed that earlier, but um, I'll probably have a link in the description for that, you know, if you want the Arisa skin or if you want to the uh, blah, 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 Isabel. Isabel, Isabella, Isabel skin, All right? Yeah. You got schoolgirl. Okay, you got nurse Isabel, and you got schoolgirl Arisa. Right? This is what we're talking about, guys. This is what you want to see in the game, man. Sometimes I never get into the looking glass. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it for now. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think uh, having fairy uh, and then having already into the looking glass is that great. You know, if I could help it, I would do something else. But it's okay. I'm not going to play my elf child onto nothing. But uh, getting a bunch of neutral fairies isn't half bad, yeah? So at the moment, the only neutral card in hand is Faria. We can, into the looking glass, have this full hand, right? And plus one more card. Okay, another fairy already. Um, I don't love it. I kind of want to just Faria here, but I can do this. Draw the card now. Wouldn't be half bad. I'll put down Faria. I think it's more aggressive, right? There's nothing on the board to fight me, so hopefully I get to fight his face, right? He might be playing a uh, D-Shift. If he's playing this, I'm pretty sure it's D-Shift. So I want to put something on the board, like, now, sooner than later. Another one. Another one in a fairy. Let's just do it. So 
still didn't feel like the right time to put into the looking glass in the play, right? So he can run a 2-2 two, two, and a 1-1, one, one, get some value off that. He only has four play points, so I don't see him doing like everything amazing, you know? Him shooting at A-OK, -okay. that's kind of what you expect, right? So this is most likely D-Shift Rune, and that's kind of scary, yeah? So I have the turn four evolve on this if I need to and shoot some stuff, right? Maybe I should have into the looking glass first so I can just evolve fairy and hit face, but I didn't really expect that to be a a thing. Am I crazy if I evolve this? Beauty and the Beast is definitely gonna be something to sort of shut him down, right? So let's just Let's just work with that. I don't mind. You're done for. I want these fairies. Guide me, Elder Tree. I'm actually not gonna play them. I'm gonna keep them in hand. So we got fairy circle to fill our hand with fairies. We got this to fill our hand with fairies too. It's called like a princess, elven princess mage, right? And uh, the idea is that we use into looking glass. We like buff our whole hand. We don't have that many beauty in the beast, so it's like we're not really playing directly just around this. But in this rude matchup, right? This is what you need. You need beauty in the beast, to, like you wrecking people, yeah. I mean, I would say. And then, um, of all points, you get some back from Crystallia, Aaron. The only problem is that, uh, he might be able to shoot me, kill me, do stuff like that, you know? And it's like, um, I don't really want this. This is a struggle life, man. You're done for. Well, that's annoying. We have an, we have an Elven, bleh, Elf Child May. Just shoot that, which is okie doke. It's pretty good overall, I'd say. Okay, let me recall how this works. Gain 2-2 two, two if you have at least 5 other cards in your hand. Gain resistance to damage and destruction from spells and effects if you if you have at least 3 neutral cards. Okay, we're definitely going to have at least 3, so let's do this. Get everything going real good, real strong. Um, Shoot for sure, right? Shoot for sure. I could go with the double fairy roach right now. That's not half bad. Because they're all neutrals, and I'm definitely going to have more neutrals in hand. I'm going to play the Beauty and the Beast next turn, and I'm going to threaten him with this this turn. Guess so. Hey, let's play. Hey, let's play. Should I evolve here? That'd scare him a bit, wouldn't it? I think it would scare him just a bit, though. I kind of want to evolve here because I have Faria uh, to evolve next turn, and then I have Crystallia Aaron to- or, well, not, not Faria next turn. No, I won't evolve here. Okay. No. <clears throat> I was thinking that the evolve there would be okay, and then we evolve something with Faria the falling turn or something like that. These are all neutrals at the moment, so he actually fears that enough, and we got Alice plus this. So then maybe we could have killed him the following turn if we had that extra two damage in there, and then it would be hard for him to kill this as well. Whoa, man. Can you do that? I got this plus this, yeah? Can he kill me in one turn? So, these can all become about 3-3 three, three right now, and I'll kill him with my Evolved Fairy on this. The question is, does he have a D-Shift kill on me next turn, right? Because, uh, I do have Ward. I have the Aaron, I have the Jungle Warden. You know what? It's okay, we'll go with this. Ah. Like so, yeah, here's the thing, right? Oh, okay. The thing is, the, the extra two damage from this hitting here would have actually killed him, because this was three, six, nine, and he was at 11. But I was like, I who expects you to leave this whole board here, right? He definitely could have evolved that and then, you know, at least spell boosted himself up a bit in his stuff, right? So, that, I, I don't think that was really me doing great. I think it was him just lacking the resources to clear my board, right? But it was cool, man. Showcase the deck kind of okay, yeah? I don't think this deck is the strongest by any means at all, but it's like... Everything else that I've come up with for Forest is like lacking right now. I hear uh, P2P, uh, Path of Purgatory. Forest is doing A-okay. But, um... I don't know, man. You need, to, you need to make some things for that. Invest... Yeah. Whoa. Don't know how I feel about this hand. It's not horrible. It's just, is, is it great? No, not really. I don't know. Oh, well, that's that's fantastic, actually. 
Sometimes you get Elf Twin Assault without the Looking Glass. Last game it was opposite. We got Looking Glass without the Elf Twin Assault, right? Which I would say is preferable. I think both of these is actually pretty interesting option-wise, right? You don't really want to waste this on just small junk or like if there's only one person or uh, one follower down. Sure, right? I could twin assault now, but I think I'd rather just shoot and play a fairy and then hit this one or something. But if I do this, I have nothing else to play, so it's like, eh, I think I'm okay with this. I think I get better value off the Elf Twin Assault, too. Um, in that exact situation, I'm a little unsure which way to go. I could put some more time into thinking about it, but I think it's okay to just say, let's just clear it, right? Okay, maybe I should have hit face. Yeah. This game's like actually just getting all all uh blah, 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 blah. all neutrals. It's kinda weird. Yes! What's interesting is we can pick up our Alice and throw her back down. The, the same exact one. And we don't lose any buffs, right? If we were to play this one and then we picked it up and put it back down, right? It wouldn't have these four five stats. It'd be a three four stats like this one right here. The journey continues. How dare you? How dare you? So, deal X damage to ran two random followers. X equals the number of neutral cards in your hand. So, that includes into the looking glass, right? It's not just, uh... Not just followers. Hmm. I don't really want to use this right now. I don't really like anything here is the problem. You could just shoot it and call it a turn. Or shoot it, develop a feria. I want this into looking glass to work with Alice, but we don't have any followers is the big thing. Life's fate is thus. I am a flower. I bloom if we were to pick this up, it would actually lose its plus one one, right? Even though these get buffed up in hand, if you're returning it to hand, they'll lose those buffs. It's it I don't know, I, I feel like that's a little bit meh. You know? Cause it's like it's buffed down here, it's buffed up here. He's gonna elf child May right now. Where are our cards at, man? Just like a little fairy circle or something, you know? I mean, that's not what I want right now, right now, because combo's not doing amazing, but okay. I'll do it, though. That's cool. I can pick it up and play it again. That's kind of nice. I think I will. I don't have to waste an evolve point or do anything special. This one? Oh, it lost into the looking. Oh, wait, no, I never had it, right? Well, okay, whatever. On, wait, no, this one did have into the looking glass, right? I'm a little unsure. Well, all I know is that these two little fairies right here get, get buffed up by Alice. That's kind of fun. It's kind of noise. It's not half bad. You're a bozo. Mm. Is there an easier way of killing in any way? No, right? This only shoots for one, this shoots for two, it's only like three. I can play something and evolve it or something, but that's kind of junk. We can still have injustice, play a fairy. No. Okay, let's do this. Oh, buff up my fairies. Nice little fairies, looking all nice and cute and stuff, right? I guess I have all hit here. You're done for. I'm going to change the looks fun. Life's fate is thus. Hey, 
Let's play. Hey, let's play. Ugh. I really don't like this. This hasn't happened too often to me where I kind of like run out of cards, but it's happened, I guess, you know. We're at that moment right now. Hey, let's play. Roach and hit. I'm thinking Roach and hit. He might evolve and hit right here. Oh. Interesting. Okay, that works for him too. So Roach and hit. Yeah. Oh. That is not the bee's knees right there. We got zero right now, right? Okay. How are we so out of cards, though? I don't understand. Okay, so we can't actually fight these. Either of you are neutral, right? Oh, whatever. Dad, you're it! Oh, yeah, come on! Did I play this? Might as well. I, am a flower. I can't stay afloat I otherwise. If I were to draw another neutral card, right, I could probably play Fairy and the other neutral card, then evolve the Fairy to hit something, right? But at the moment, it's like he has to deal with this maybe, just maybe he has to deal with it, I don't really know. These are the moments where you kind of wish he had Fairy Princess, right? I wanted to try a Fairy Princess into the Looking Glass combo, right? And then, you know, buff everything up, but it's just, ah, uh, this is where we would have wanted it, right? Well, maybe I should evolve this hit face and have this just hit face too. At the moment, these just trade off and kill my things, right? Oh no, they go away after this. Okay. I'm gonna say kill, kill my uh, kill my followers without actually having to fight them, right? Because this this had clash, but even though it says to give the fairies clash, right? It's only until the Amulet is gone. Ooh. This is why we need more Ancient Elf. Every single deck. It doesn't even matter. Right? Um. I think we can give up here. Even if I evolve this and hit with this and this, it's, it's alive with one health. I guess too many cards in hand that I'm probably not going to actually come up with anything. I could maybe get a Jungle Warden or something like that, right? But it's just... It, it's it's going to take too much time and it's like, eh, uh, I'll lead out. It's, it's going to come to anything from there, right? But okay, this is why these are unranked games, right? You still got to figure out how the deck's working out and like what you need more of. And sometimes the most obvious answer just isn't a resource that you're willing to go into, right? Like... I liquefied my three Snow Whites because, you know, it's, it's free after getting nerfed and all that, right? And it's like, you know, what do I need, right? I already gave in and crafted my third Albert, but it's like, do I want to create two more Ancient Elves? Time for me to do I want two go. more Aegis? Like, don't want the stuff that's, you know, expensive and within a class that's actually pretty usable. I don't know. I can keep this. So this isn't half bad. Getting three things, uh, neutraled, I guess. Neutraled? Four? I think four is pretty worth. We Leo right here, do we get anything off that? We gotta be more aggressive, let's try that. Class, destroy the enemy follower and remove this follower's clash ability. Okay.
not gonna play this yet. I'm gonna try and get Alice out first. Buff up everything in hand, right? Oh my, he passed? This guy's a madman. So what's crazy is, since we actually have so much here, right? We can actually pick up Alice with the Nature's Guidance and put it back down after we hit his face if he lets it live. Which is kind of ridiculous to think of. Just like, oh, is it really that worth it? To play Alice twice? It's like, yeah, sure, why not, right? Uh, we could shoot that. That's not half bad. Um, we could shoot it and play Lilac. Lilac could also just come down and evolve hit this or some. Elven Princess Mage evolving hitting that is actually pretty good too. Also, don't mind picking this up. I can play this, evolve hit here. So it would be play, evolve, hit, this hits face. We could pick this up just uh, ahead of time. We'll draw a card for it. And then we'll be buffing up these three the following turn if we were to play it again. Although I don't know if picking it up is really that helpful. Flooded board here. Wasn't so confident in doing that though, right? Feast upon me. Prepare yourself. Take the souls of millions and arise. Such you beckon. magic. Feast upon me. Okay, that's actually perfectly you fine with Ultimate Assault, right? Oh no, we don't have any. Do we have anything? No, we don't. One, two, oh no. Well, we can pick this back up, get an extra one. If we pick this back up, it actually loses its ability, so not too huge there. Uh, the Lilac could come down and evolve hit something too. That would be okay, but we don't really have to use the evolve on the Lilac. Having this evolve and run in is okie dokes too. Let me think. You want to run in for sure, though, right? You run in. Pick you up, throw you back down. And then that'll buff this up to a 3-something. Alright, a 3-3. Three, three. That could also hit face. Uh, it just doesn't have enough things. It's only going to be a 3 if I pick this up, which isn't enough. Everything in that I intended on getting in was roping it just a bit. So I don't really want to play this fairy or this lilac right now until I get this elf twin assault value, right? I can probably get the value here somewhere. You see, I'm only getting stronger. Like we have two in hand. Two in hand's enough to kill both these two right here if we need to. We can just hit this one first, I guess, if it really mattered. Um you hit here. Sure. You're neutral. You're not neutral. You're not neutral. Okay, the only neutrals are these two right here, right? What's the best order for this? I don't want this to just hit these two exactly, right? Well, let's, let's try May. We can pick up May if we need to. Pick this back up. Let's just 
give it a try. I was thinking of the roach combo stuff, right? But I don't mind trying to pick up one. Ooh. That's not bad. We have no more evolve. It's the only problem right now. Hey. Okay, um, I guess we could do this. Why not? Holy crud. Okay. Um, still not the greatest, in my opinion. He gets stronger than I do. Long run, maybe. Cowie and stuff. That's kind of what I was thinking. So we have two neutrals in hand. We run this in. Shoot for two. Ancient Elf doesn't want to come down and heal him is the thing. We're just short of where I'd like to be, right? We can shoot him for two and then we can hit him with uh, with two on board. Ancient Elf doesn't want to come down because Cowie is just, a, he's just the ender of people's lives, man. Destroy the enemy follower and remove the Swallow's Clash ability. Uh, I love it, but I hate where I'm at with it right now. I give this a weird try. If Cowie fights this, he doesn't heal for anything. He's at 11 health and he really wants to heal right now. He might be playing Nephthys, like, really soon. That's not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Draw neutral right here. You're not neutral, are you? Gain resistance to damage and destructive destruction from spells and effects if you have at least three neutral cards in your hand. So if I put this- Oh, I don't have three! Oh my gosh! Why do you do this to me, man? How unfair. <laughs> They put down Beauty and the Beast, Fairy, Fairy, Ancient Elf it. It is not desire. It's love. What's nice about this is that if Kaui actually fights something, this will I think I'm okay with just having a giant ancient elf, but at the same time I don't want it to be giant. Maybe I messed that up. Ugh. So I'm still desperate to keep these fairies alive because I don't want to, or er, these fairies at zero because I still want to do the roach combo. I'm a little unsure if I can actually pull that off in any way. And this one I'm keeping in hand for this in case I get any kind of ping for it ready to go. What I'm looking at right now is that this will destroy the Beauty and the Beast, but it can't destroy it, right? I believe. No, that's not the case. Oh, it only gained plus two, two. I'm stupid. Well, he's going to go back up to 18 health pretty easily if he wants to. He can fight this one, and then I guess he could just kill it, and this will indirectly die too. Nether could eat you. Oh, okay, he read it wrong. Farewell. Oh, you got me. In my opinion, he read it wrong. Protector. 
you can't kill this stuff, right? So, why are we struggling with card draw? I've tried this deck out a little bit before, and like, it was not the case that we struggled with card draw ever really before. Okay, though, this one's a goner. Easy goner. Hmm. Also, is it me, or are we not seeing, like, the Crystallia Aarons and the, uh, the Jungle Wardens and stuff. Well, I guess it's only two games, right? Or is it three games? I think it was win one, lose one, lose one. I think it's three games. Okay. So if we were to fix card draw issues, right, we would probably have a carrot. Carrot seems not half bad here, considering that uh, things are getting buffed and all that, right? And we are depending a bit on uh, being able to shoot stuff. Also, a uh, for me to prove myself. Goblin Mage wouldn't be half bad, but I think the Carrot's the, the biggest solution to this issue right now. I can keep the whole thing, actually, if I like this. Like this. I'll keep it. Two, three, four. We don't need a turn one play. We can still draw turn one play, but it's like if you miss turn one play, it's not that bad. Cool. That's kind of what I was looking into. Oh, wow. That's my kind of tech right there. That's what I like to play. My dude. Okay, not the most useful here. I am a flower. I bloom on stage. So, like, the trouble is you want to play into the looking glass, right? on things that aren't neutral, but if you're playing decks that are heavy on not neutral, then you have an iffy time with Elton Assault, and I feel like we're on the weird 50-50 right now. I think that there's definitely a combo for this, right? Maybe it is Path of Purgatory, and you play literally just all things, and you, I don't know. Maybe you don't Elton Assault. Because uh, the, the thing about uh, Path of Purgatory is cycling cards is usually pretty good for you, where you're throwing this down, it goes to your discard, or to your uh, your shadows or whatever, right? And then you're gonna try and get a path to purgatory from it or whatever. I see. Come on, man. I'm just trying to showcase a deck here. See if it's working out well. I did it! I won! All right, we'll give it one more go. If this happens again. Uh, it's cool. We'll. We're just gonna keep moving. So, like, like I said in uh, previous videos and stuff like this, right? This will probably be uploaded um, later, you know, rather than the daily videos. I've already missed actually like a day or two of videos on the YouTubes, right? And that's because of the Europe trip coming up and all that, right? Shout out to you guys making it this much, this this much into the video, right? Because I know a lot of you guys might just check out the video like in the beginning, like is this deck good or bad? Okay, bad. I'm leaving. Bam. Or like, oh, he's not even playing ranked. I'm leaving. Whatever, right? But um. I don't know, man. My thought process goes all over the place, and I just want to say thanks for coming by, you know, and uh, holding it down for me while I'm in Europe and all that. The date is super close to approaching. I think about a week now, yeah, a week and two days, and I'm gone. I'm gone. And I haven't pre-recorded too many videos yet, so then this will be one of the earlier videos, you know, so it's like, uh, by the time that it, it, it is, you'll, it'll be like, I, I would have left by then or whatever, I think, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe. And I gotta pre-record our thing, upload before I start thinking the stuff that's like, yo, no, not like this. And it's like, yeah, man, I don't know. This is weird. I don't like Elf Child May here, just coming down, shooting this one time, and then it fights back or something. Oh come on! Ooh, I can have a bad time. Shoot the right one. Uh, maybe I don't have to depend on shooting the right one. Maybe I just shoot this one. I can play two of these down right now. I don't really like that. I, th I think I'm going to do this. So right now we're getting a bunch of fairy cards, right? And we have an Elfstone Assault. So we're really going to depend on getting it a, look a looking glass, right? And then Faria can, you know, come down with all these fairies. Or, you know, one drops, right? 
Like, the huge point is... Forest has the potential to get a bajillion cards. Right? Right. And, uh, with those bajillion cards, we can make them all neutral. But the thing is, we're not getting it ever, really, at the same time with all the stuff. They're either already neutral, which is fine, right? Or they're just not like this. And then you feel awkward, because it's like, what do I do with this? And it's like, I don't know, man. Destroy the enemy floor and remove this. So if this hits first, it'll die. Then this can just run in and kill it, which is awkward. For sure. For sure, man. For sure. I give it a try. Come on, let's play. So he might use his hip face, or he could trade it off here. He might be afraid that I'm gonna pick it up again and use it again, which honestly I might do. I already have one here, so I can play it like you know three times. This to this to this, and play this again or something like that. I want to get this in the shootable range? Oh my! That's already doing mad damage to me, right? That's three damage right away. God, that fortress bad stuff, man. When you get it working, it works really well. We can shoot this. That's okay. We can do a double shot here and that'll kill stuff. Uh, Wish I tried harder. Shot doesn't do much, but I guess it clears the board a bit. We're really behind is the problem. I can kill the last one with an elf child May, and before I do that, I can play a magical fairy, evolve, hit something that's big or whatever, right? I'm not doing this like for that. You. You will soon okay. That's a that's a scary evolve. Oh come on! We can't just kill stuff super easy now. Yeah. Hey, uh. Why me, bro? Why you do this to me? I'm not getting any of my junk. I don't think there's a solution to this problem. You can evolve anything. Okay, if... Let's say we kill the two biggest ones, right? If you can evolve this, that'll do three, this will do one, I'll be dead. Right now, the only thing that looks possible is maybe an Elf Child May. I pick it up and then I draw something for three that might be able to save me. That would be like a uh, an Ancient Elf on basically nothing because I picked this up already. Okay. I'll give it at that. Ugh. Alright guys, I'm gonna call that the end of the video for this one. I'm gonna probably uh, rework the deck a bit off, 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 oh, offline, offline. Yeah, that's appropriate to say in a YouTube video, right? I'm like off stream, yeah, offline, and uh, we may be coming back with a different deck. So let's let's give that a go. All right, love you guys, boy. Check me out on all the links below in the description, and uh, yeah.